to get going here. So thank you for those who shared some wins and successes that they had in the chat box. Uh, Anna showed her first house and uh, has an open house tomorrow, which is awesome. June's grateful I'm feeling better. Me too, June. And hey, by the way, since uh, we're talking about June for a second, I noticed you have Leah there at your house with you. And just so you guys know, today is Leah Kruger's birthday. So happy birthday, Leah. Leah is one of the people who remembers everyone's birthday. So make sure that uh, if you know Leah, that you uh, send her a text or give her a call today and tell her happy birthday. So thanks for joining us, Leah, even on your birthday. And I'm assuming you're in St. George with June. Is that right, June? Thumbs up. Yep, cool. Awesome. Well, it's also Stephanie Crott's birthday since we're talking birthdays, which is George's assistant. So uh, anyway, anybody that knows Stephanie, shoot her a text as well. Awesome. All right. So Brianna uh, mastered a new script, which is awesome. Iris is just learning every day. And Judy, I'm with you. Grateful to be with a group of people who are going to show up even on Friday to get their day started right. Uh, Nina's le learning scripts and things, which is awesome. Jeanette got a client under contract. Good job. Three showings in one day. Awesome. Yeah, now everybody's blowing up. Happy birthday to you, Leah. I don't know if you can see the chat box, but they're all telling you happy birthday. So cool. Well, awesome. Hey, I'm excited to get to be with you guys today. And just, I have been, I don't know why, but today, um, <clears throat> that what I want to start with is just, I have been a little reflective today, and I don't really know why that is. And, and what I mean by that is, and this is not what my message necessarily is about, but I just wanted to share with you this. Uh, I woke up this morning just being like, kind of like reflective. So I don't know if, if gratitude is the right word, although there's definitely some in that of the gratitude, but also just this morning was just very reflective. And, and part of what I mean with that is I, as I was standing at the sink shaving before I took the shower, I just was very reflective of like, remember back in March when all of this hit and I remember them saying like, okay, everybody, we're just going to shut everything down for two weeks. And just for whatever the reason this morning was just thinking about like, it's crazy to think now over six months later that um, we thought this was going to be a two week thing that we would all just stay home for two weeks and then it would be over. Well, then during that two weeks, for those of you that are in Utah, know that we had an earthquake that hit. And, and part of, I think, what got me reflective on that today was I was standing at my sink shaving when the earthquake hit and I remembered looking over at some candles that my ha wife had next to the bathtub and watching them fall off of this little stand and thinking like, what is going on? Like uh, thinking like, is this like the end of the world? Like all these pandemics and plagues and earthquakes and then for you guys in California now fires and things. So anyway, just been reflective this morning on just how grateful I am, though, for the things that I have learned personally over the last six months as, as we've gone through that. So anyway, thanks for being with me. That was not what my message was, but just wanted to share with that with you today. So here's where I want to go with you is I want to talk about in terms of you and prospecting and generating leads and setting appointments and those type of things is I want to just share with you. I've got written on the board here and I don't know how well you can see it, but this, uh, this line here is the learning curve. And this learning curve is the process that we're gonna go through in terms of any time you are learning anything new, it is gonna happen similar to this, this learning curve. Meaning we start to work on a new skill and during that process of working on the new skill, you can see it's kind of a flat line there, which George talked earlier in the week about flatlining. And we know what's happening with a flat line, but also, Keep in mind that part of the process that you are going to go through as you learn any new skill or as you take your business to the next level, whatever that looks like, at first, as you start to work on it, it's going to feel like I'm doing all of this work and I'm not seeing any results. It is very, very normal for agents to feel like I'm doing all of this work, yet I'm not seeing any results from it. Well, keep in mind that as you do this work and it feels like nothing is happening, I always like to think about bamboo and how bamboo grows. And what you may or may not know is usually if, if I had you all in the room with me and I asked, how does bamboo grow? Somebody would say, oh, really fast, which is true once it does start to grow. Once it pokes its head through the ground, it does grow really fast. 
but it takes four years of this getting the, its uh, root system in place before that happens. So think of it that way in terms of as you're working on a new skill, and I know that we have many agents on here that are brand new. Well, as you're doing that, keep in mind, it's going to take some time to get that root system in place. But if you're also one of the seasoned agents, which I know we've got quite a few of those on here as well, and you're wanting to go to that next level, keep in mind that as you work on this stuff, at first it's gonna feel like, okay, I'm starting to do all these new things, but then nothing has happened. Well, that is just part of the process. Just keep in mind that it is a process that we are going through, okay? Now, with that in mind, the first step in this journey is what we would call the activities phase. Now, here's what happens with a lot of agents is we get stuck in this activities phase, especially a new agent will say, well, I need to learn how to um, get on the MLS. I need to know how to fill out a contract. I need to know how to do all this stuff. Because what if somebody asks me a question or wants me to meet with them and I don't know how to do it? I'm not gonna look smart and then they won't wanna work with me. See, this is just a trap that we get into of this activities phase. See, we also will spend 80% of our time working on things that only contribute to 20% of our business. So we spend 80% of our time in this area working on flyers and those type of things that are not gonna help our business like we think they would, when in reality, we need to reverse that and spend 20% of our time in this activities phase, not the 80%. If you will spend 20% of your time there doing those type of things, that, that's great. The other 80% of your time then leads us to the next phase in this. this. So think of what I'm talking about is a journey to the next level. So think of it that way. It's your journey to getting to the next level is first is going to be some activities things, yes. But then what we've got to do is next is we've got to go to this next phase, which is the contacts. Oops, I'm spelling horrible here. Contacts phase. The next step in that is the contacts phase. We'll see typically what we will do as we went through and we talk about the 12 steps to the sum to success. One of the things that you noticed on there is that we talk about, I make 150 plus contacts per day, excuse me, per week, 30 plus per day by phone or in person. Well, the reason we have that on there is because that's the next step in this process is doing contacts. So if you're wanting to go to the next level, part of the process of that is going to be saying, okay, do I need to do a few more contacts than what I have currently been doing? For you guys that are new agents, if you have not done any contacts yet, you're stuck in this flatline area, which George talked about earlier in the week is gonna be basically what happens at the hospital when it is a flatline. That's what's happening to your career if you're not out making contacts, FYI, is you may not see it, but that's what's headed your direction is the flat line for this. So get out of this activities phase and get into the contacts phase. In the contacts phase is where we are now just keeping track of a number of contacts. So that's where we're saying, I make 150 plus contacts per week, 30 plus per day. Well, that's what you need to be doing is tracking those contacts. Well now, so for me, I just wanna share with you guys really quick that as a new agent, when I got my license, I went to my broker and I said, what should I do? And he essentially said, okay, let's figure out how much money you want to make based on how much money you want to make. Then based on the average price per commission, you need to be doing X number of contacts. Well, for me at the time, my goal was the same as what most agents that come into this business. And that was, I wanted to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Well, then my manager said, well, if you want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year, our average commission at the time was 2000. He said, then you'd need to go out and do 50 transactions a year. Well, essentially then what he said is the place to start with is make 50 contacts a day if you wanna do 50, con 50 transactions per year, which is what I started to do. So I would go out and I would knock on doors from 10 o'clock in the morning until 12 or 12.30, basically till I could get 25 contacts, I would go out and knock on doors. Then I would go, go back to the office, I would eat lunch or, or I would go to lunch, I would then meet back at the office and then at about two o'clock, I would jump on the phone and make another 50 contacts. So I, or excuse me, 25 contacts. So I would do 25 contacts, which would take me typically another two to two and a half hours to get in that 25 contacts. So I was doing 50 contacts a day, 
Now, after a year and a half of doing that though, here was the problem. What I found is I was not doing 50 transactions a year. In fact, I don't even think I was close to that yet. Well, I met a guy who became somewhat of a mentor for me. And what he told me is quit focusing on the contacts and instead focus on the appointments, which that's the next phase of this is what we would call the appointments phase. In the appointments phase, if you look at this learning curve, look at the steepest part of that curve is right there in the appointments phase. And so what he said to me is stop focusing on making contacts and instead focus on appointments. Now, notice I did not say stop keeping track of your contacts. I did not say that. But what he said was stop focusing on your contacts. Because here's what happens. When you focus on making contacts, which is what I was doing to get to the 50 contacts every day, I was focused on making 50 contacts every day. So guess what I got at the end of the day? 50 contacts. See, because the problem was what happens when we are focused. So part of what I guess I'm talking to you right now, if you were to keep track of like what my message is, is the first thing is on, about is on what are you focusing on? And if you are focused on the contacts, then that's what you're going to get. Meaning, your approach to people is about, hey, if they'll talk to me and I can get out that I'm in real estate and I can talk to them and tell them that we got a home listed or whatever, that I can go, oh, good. I can make a tick mark that goes, there's one contact. And then I could do my next one of two contacts. See, that's what I was doing. I was so focused on the contacts that what ended up happening is at the end of the day, I would go home feeling really good that I should make, that I had made 50 contacts. And, 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 and I'm not saying you shouldn't feel good that you did 50 contacts because there are not many people that would do that in a day. So if you do it, feel good. But I would go home feeling good about it. But I don't know about you guys, but it's one thing to feel good. It's another thing to make money. And for me, I don't know about you. I came into this business because I wanted to be able to make money. And for me, actually, honestly, the reason I came into this business was I was tired of working hard for somebody else to make the money. And I had just realized, hey, I want to go do something that the harder I work, the more I get rewarded. Well, so I would go home feeling like I worked really hard. And any of you that have done 50 contacts a day, you will agree that is a lot of work to get to that point. So I would go home feeling like I worked hard, but my pocketbook was not showing the level of work that of what I felt like I was doing. Well, as I got introduced to this idea then of as you're prospecting, don't get caught up and focused on the contact. Instead, get focused on setting the appointment. And so as I did that then, now here's what happened for me is I made the decision, I will not go home until I set an appointment. Let me say that again. I will not go home until I have set an appointment. And when I did that, now that's a scary thing. I remember I went home and told my wife, I will not come home tomorrow until I make an appointment. Well, my wife was like, well, we've got stuff we gotta do, so you better get an appointment. See, all of a sudden my wife was on board with me of pressing me for that. And in fact, what I would recommend for you guys to do is have a significant other that you tell at the end of my business day, I need you to ask me every single day, did you set an appointment today? Not did you sell a house, did you sell a, set an appointment? So I would walk in the house and my wife every day, when I would walk in the door, she would come over, give me a hug and a kiss and say, did you set an appointment today? And I had to either say yes or else the agreement was she would say, get back outside, go out and don't come in until you have set an appointment. See, that was the level of commitment. We have to be that committed to this in order for it to work as to what I'm talking about. But when you are that committed, when you will fully commit, when you will burn the boats, you will just say, we have no other option but for me to set an appointment every day. It is amazing how all of a sudden everything else lines up, gets in order, and you are able to set an appointment. And here's what the other thing that happens that changes. Here's what I found, just so that you guys know. When I was focused on contacts, I already mentioned this part of it. When I was focused on contacts, what would happen is I would get, as soon as somebody had answered the door and I could say, my name's Russ with XYZ Real Estate, 
as soon as that would happen, in my mind, I was making this little tick mark of, well, there's one contact. See, I would give up. As soon as they answered the phone or opened the door, in, I essentially gave up because I was like, well, there's my contact. See, unless somebody was going to beg me to come in and list their home, I was probably not going to get a deal. Well, so the moment that I changed from, okay, yes, I will keep track of my contacts and you need to keep track so that you can see if you are getting better or not. So you need to keep track. But the moment that I said, I am here to prospect to set an appointment. And for me, once you will do this, whether it's one appointment, oops, my marker's not working too well, whether it's one appointment or two appointments or three appointments a day that you are going to set, if what you will do is just say, I will not go home until I set X number of appointments. Now, for most of you on this call, the majority of you, setting one appointment every single day would be sufficient if you will do that. Now, there are some on here that you probably need to say, no, I've got to set two or I've got to set three. But if you will just commit that I will not go home until I have set X number of appointments, you watch what happens to your business. It will take off. And that's exactly what happened for me when I made the commitment. And I, when I made the commitment, it was real for me. Again, you, you cannot make the commitment and then a week later go, well, I didn't get one, but that's okay. I'll get two tomorrow. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to say, I will not go home until I set the appointment or two or three, whatever your number is. Well, as soon as I started to do that, all of a sudden my business took off. And here's what you will find. Here's what I will tell you guys. As scary as it may seem to say, I will not go home until I've set X number of appointments. Here's what I will tell you. When you will commit to it, and when you truly are committed, then providence moves too. See, things will happen, fall in place that would never otherwise have happened for you. And what I found was by doing that, I ended up actually prospecting half as much time, but I, would, I could set an appointment in half the time of what I was prospecting. And the interesting thing is, over the next year, my business more than doubled. And the next year after that, it more than doubled again. See, your business will take off, but it takes being committed. You have to be fully committed. So I guess ultimately that would be the second thing. If the first thing I've talked about to you guys is the focus, the second piece of, of if you're taking some notes is how committed are you? Are you committed to setting X number of appointments every single day? Well, the next phase in this, let me just for those that, because I know we've probably got a few on here that are ready to go to this level. The next level is what we would call the transactions phase. So this one is the appointments phase. This is the transactions phase. That transactions phase is when you're wanting to do six, seven, eight million dollars a year or more. Well, in that phase, instead of here, this is set, come on, marker work, set one appointment every day. This one is keep one appointment. See, when you go to this level, the keep one appointment, which I put an S on there, sorry. When you keep one appointment every single day is when you're going to go into the top echelon of level of this business, which what that means is you better have two or three appointments set for every single day because some of them are going to fall through. So in order for you to keep an appointment every day, what that means you have to attend an appointment every single day. Well, if you're going to attend one every day, you probably need at least two set for every single day because that's what's going to take you to that highest and next level of the business. This is your step-by-step. -step. Get out of the activities phase if that's where you're at and force yourself into, I just got to start making contacts. Just start making contacts. If you're in the contacts phase, then the next step is to say, okay, I will prospect until I set an appointment and I will not go home. I promise you, if, the, if you will hold yourself to that, you'll figure out an appointment on that. And then once you get good at that and you wanna take it to the next level, you wanna be in the top one or 2% of this business, what you do is say, I have to keep an appointment every single day. And if you will do that, I will promise you, you will see huge amounts of success that will take your business to the next level, whatever that looks like for you. All right, well, so here's the question for you. 
where are you at in the for yourself write this down or at least make a mental note where am i at in this process am i in the activities phase am i in the contacts phase the appointments or the transactions phase and which are are you willing to commit to change and here's the question really what would your life look like if you did go to that next level what would it change in your career in how your relationships are with your family what would you be able to do in your life if you were to go to that next level and then finally are you willing to commit to that are you willing to commit to saying i'm going to do 50 contacts a day and i will not go home or the 30 contacts a day and not go home until i do i am not going to go home until i set one appointment or I will not go home until I've kept an appointment. Obviously, that one's going to be a little bit harder if you have not set the, a couple of appointments for the day to keep one. But that's what it will take. And if you will do that, your business, you will see it take off. But be patient in the process. Remember, as we said in the beginning, as you start to move to any of these new levels, at first, it's going to feel like this because you're getting that root system in set up and in place very similar to how bamboo grows. All right. Thanks for being with me, guys. Go out and make it an awesome day today. And let's go and really take this thing to the next level for you so that you can really make a difference. Because at the end of the day, Jeremy had you guys write down yesterday what difference you're going to make in people's lives. That's what this really is about is getting the money to allow you to go and do those type of things. So thanks for being with me. Let's close it up.